The heartbreaking reality of modern politics is that authenticity, consistency, and trust seem to be slipping away from our grasp. People are becoming more and more disillusioned by political rhetoric that just doesn't line up with what they see and feel in their everyday lives. We're living in a world where alienation and division are becoming the norm, not the exception. Uh, thanks, Green. Just to bounce <laughs> on the previous question, yeah. Trump was the first to endorse eliminating taxes on tips. He's accusing Vice President Harris of stealing his idea. So did she get this idea from Trump? Look, I, I'm not going to uh, respond to a, a presidential candidate. I think their campaign could speak to that directly. What I can say is this president, this vice president, have always had the backs of the working people, always. Uh, and you see that in the policies that they put forward. Uh, everything that we have put forward, historic pieces of legislation, legislation that are obviously now laws uh, are helping middle class workers are helping uh, people, just people in different communities that are normally, again, left behind. If you think about tax cut for workers and middle class families, instead of billionaires and big corporations getting that tax break, raising minimum wage is something that we have talked about and done. Ensuring workers can join a union. This is something that Republican officials themselves, they oppose. They have a pose. Uh, so I think the question really is, if Republican officials, uh, you know, why didn't they? Why didn't they join join uh, the president, and the vice president to support working families? They didn't. They didn't. Uh, and so I think our record shows that what we've done uh, under this term, under this administration, the Biden-Harris administration, we have put working people at the center of every policy that we move forward with uh, as it relates to the economy, health care, uh, even climate change. Uh, and so that is something that we're going to continue to do. This is it's infuriating to witness the contradictions and empty words that don't address the issues we care about. Take, for example, Kamala Harris's vote supporting IRS regulations on tipping. This move starkly contradicts the administration's current promise to eliminate taxes on tips. Where is the transparency? Where is the consistency? The government's actions reek of political maneuvering of gaslighting us into believing a narrative that suits their agenda at the moment. It feels like a deliberate attempt to dodge criticism and pass the blame, all while pretending to stand up for the working class. The administration's attempts to rewrite history, to paint itself as the unwavering ally of the American worker, are disheartening. It makes you question whether their words hold any real value, or if they're just hollow echoes meant to pacify us. Authenticity, the very essence of trust, is being shattered. When past actions, like Harris's vote on IRS regulations, don't match up with the current rhetoric, it's no wonder public trust is eroding. This isn't just about politics. It's about our lives, our sense of autonomy, and our economic freedom. The government's claim to stand with workers feels like a hollow reassurance especially when those same workers feel the sting of tax increases or government overreach. It's a bitter pill to swallow when you realize that the government might not be acting in your best interest after all. The exchange between a reporter and Karine Jean-Pierre isn't just a conversation. It's a stark reminder of how the administration tries to control the narrative to keep us in line. By claiming to support the working class, the government is trying to build a bridge of trust with those who feel left behind. But the more you dig, the more you find cognitive dissonance, the unsettling feeling that something isn't right. How can the administration claim to have always supported workers when its past actions tell a different story? This dissonance breeds skepticism, doubt, and a deepening distrust of government announcements, especially from those who feel their economic freedom is at risk. In the end, it feels like an unfaithful attempt to rewrite history, to avoid taking responsibility for past mistakes, and that's a betrayal that cuts deep.